In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your workflow page. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to set up contextual view. In order to be able to do this, you need a screen resolution of 1600 pixels wide. First, find your documentation components, such as subjective, review of systems, objective physical exam, assessment and plan, and in-office procedures. One by one, click the arrow at the top right hand corner of each component. Paying attention to the order that you click them in, as this will be the order they will show in the right hand column. Once you have them all moved over in the order that you would like, you can simply move the components to the bottom of your left hand menu list as this order does not change the order in the right hand column. The next thing I'm going to cover is how to change several of the filters in each individual component. First one I recommend changing is the problem list. I recommend setting your classification to all. This way you do not miss any of the nursing diagnoses that may cause a problem when you're trying to add a chronic condition. The second component that you can customize is your histories component. In this component, you can simply click and drag to move around either the social procedure or family history component that you would like to show face up. The next component to customize is your documents component. Depending on your specialty, you may have different choices, but I recommend you at least choose clinic, ED slash urgent care, and hospital. You can choose any of the additional views you would like. Once you have made your selections, click apply. The next component to customize is labs. Here I recommend you choose outside lab and all laboratory. This should result in you seeing all of the patient's labs that are on the chart. There may be some changes coming to this component in the future, but for now, this is the recommended filters. The last component I want to highlight in this video is Media Gallery. This may be a new component to many. In Media Gallery, you will see any images that were taken of the patient, including those taken with camera capture. One of the new features that you can use is to actually tag these images into your dynamic documentation note. Here I've selected this image and when I click tag, you can see that this image is now available for me to tag into my note. You can, from this component, review a larger image by clicking on view selection. This will show you a larger view of the image. Another thing I want to highlight in this video is that you can collapse the workflow view, view menu if you'd like by clicking the little pin in the top right hand corner. If you want to put it back, you can simply click it again. The last thing that I'm going to highlight in this video is the ability to add or remove components. Hopefully all of you know that you can click and drag and move these components around in whichever order fits your workflow the best, but you can also add and remove components by clicking in the top right hand corner on the menu and then selecting components. Any component that has a check mark next to it should be visible on your workflow page. You can click to uncheck any component that is there that you no longer need. You can also add in any components that you need as well. When you're done, simply move away or click into the workflow page and this will add the components to your workflow page. You can then click and drag them into any position 
that you like. Please let myself or one of your clinic advocates know if you have any questions on how to set up your workflow page.